So we're out here now, <laughs> made it to uh, the first mile in Sonoma where they're doing a launch to check out the Rivians off their production. Rivian is a new electric vehicle company. It's uh, competing with Tesla. Is it? All right. That, that, that'll, that'll also, there you go. That'll also start to push that back too. Right. Nice. And that'll enable you now to adjust the steering. So if you press on that icon, that'll do your steering. Press on the other icon, it'll do, here you go. What do you got? Oh, oh steering wheel, I see. Yeah. It. And that shows you how you would operate with these toggle switches. Oh yeah, look at that. In and out and up and down. It moves down and up. That's pretty cool. Same thing would be for the side mirrors. Okay. Side yep. mirrors. Side mirrors do the same type of toggle. Then it'll show you when it's so up, down, out, in and out. Yeah. Nice and roomy. Yeah, very long space in here. And then just then you can tap on the top name when you want to exit. Okay. And then of course you can move across all those icons and it'll show you. Well let me I let me come in there with you. Sure. Checking this out. So let's do this. Let's just walk across. Why is this so far up? <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. Some short sitting in the front. Yeah. So put it down to. All right. So let's go back to. So now that we've got you positioned, seat, steering wheel, side mirrors, let's go to HVAC. Now your HVAC is always controlled by the icons. This is your fan. Okay. And so this directs where the airflow would go. Oh wow! Icon by icon. So you're not moving it with your hand anymore. It's all nope. right there. Yep. It's digital, not analog. Yep. That's awesome. Want to turn it off? You just pop it. Okay. Same thing with the lower. Yeah. If you want to do rear section too, same thing. You've also got heated steering wheel, heated seat, ventilated seat. Those icons are also on the bottom, as you can see, if you don't want to, in other words, if you're, if this screen is off yeah. and you're driving, you want it to put on your defrost, especially, you don't have to pull up the HVAC interface. You can just go right from the bottom of the icons. So what that'll do, since that's in defrost, So now what we're going to do is we'll get out of the HVAC. This is now navigation. And what you want to do here is, as you were showing, yeah. let's filter by charge speeds. So let's do them all. Okay. You see how it's color coded? Yeah. I'll show you which of these. This is DC fast to over 100 kilowatts, up to 100 kilowatts, and level two up to 25 kilowatts. Now we're going to go to our network partners. Okay. And um, charge point. And charge EVgo. point EVgo and. There's one more that's not in here, but we're going to electrify America. Ah. And they're in there too. And this will just this this will just key our availability. So now let's pick a destination. Let's go to the LA Coliseum. It's now going to bring out what our route is. It's going to calculate the route. Okay. And then I'm going to show you just in the the May time. Look at there we go. It's going to show so you where all the charging exactly. stations are. So what we do now is we go to the charge icon. Then that shows us in the distance that we're, we're, where we're traveling. So let's go to the DC corridor Chevron. That shows you where it is, 
how many chargers are there, what the profile is, which one is in use, what's the maximum kilowatts. And it also tells you you'll have 60 miles on arrival. So all of this is sort of taking that charge anxiety out. Nice. And as you would jump from point to point, what it would do was just basically enable you. Let's see if I get out of this here. So let's go to music. This is the, so let's go to, so again, you've got Spotify, you've got local radio, you've got national um, radio as well, which are, which are basically pre-programmed channels, and you've got your EQ settings. Yeah. There's a default measure for these two. Okay. You can do that. You can just, you can customize, but let's, um, let's go back and get a song on. Dad loves his work. <laughs> It's a great James Taylor. I yeah. get, you got to be as old as I am to remember that. <laughs> the speakers are up here. Huh? Speakers are, there's 19 total speakers. Wow. These are all multi-directional speakers. It's all speaker up there. Yeah. Tweeter, and, and your subwoofer is behind your... See what's happening is it, it's now... See how it's jumping from... That's why I have to reboot it. It's, it's jumping to previous songs, see? Ah, uh, yeah. So we'll let that play. I just wanted you to get the sound. I'll I'll reboot this and it'll it'll fix it. But and this is supposed to be sort of sound system friendly because it. Gotcha. But see how it's freezing now. Yeah. See that's how it's walking. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. Let's go to the drive modes, which are extremely important. Yeah. Now this has been deactivated because the vehicle goes up and down and it gets with kids around. It gets kind of okay. dangerous but it'll tell you all of your drive modes. This one right now is an all purpose. Here's your height, 9.5 inches. These are all your default settings in all purpose. It's got a soft ride, so your pneumatic suspension is gonna be softer. Brake regen is high, so it's one pedal driving, yeah. putting a lot of energy and, and range back in the battery pack. And your hydraulic roll control when you're torque vectoring or traction control, that is enabled. Okay. If you wanted to disable any of that, when this is on, you just hit any of these, and it would give you the choices of what you could do, unless it was something that would put you and the vehicle at danger. It would never allow you to do that. Okay. So so it has automatic, so if I put it to off-road, yep. it's probably gonna come up a little bit higher. Uh, well, than, six, six inches higher. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot higher, yeah. yeah. Six inches higher. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So at the, at the highest height, it'll be 14.9 inches, and the lowest, it'll be 8.9. Okay. And that'll be highest will be in off-road, lowest will be in sport. Sport, yeah. If you go into conserve, that deactivates your rear drive unit and puts it from a quad motor to a dual motor front wheel drive vehicle, but it'll, ah. sa but it'll save a ton it'll save of, a ton of range. juice, yeah. yeah. And you're running two so wheels. let's do this. This is your access and security. Close the hood, open the charge port, all these different things. And this is your security system. When this is enabled, all those 10 cameras that are outside activate, including the one in the back. And this will, and this icon will go across the whole screen. So when someone gets close to the vehicle, they'll recognize that something is interesting. And that's because everything's being recorded. Yeah, okay. Well, you can open the tailgate from here. Open it, yeah. You open, can close, close the tunnel. tunnel. We can close Even the, the hood, hood, huh? Even if it's working. Yeah. And we can open and close the charge port. Oh, that's cool. Open yeah. hood. Yeah. Go all the way up. Yeah. Automatic hood. Then we got all of our accent, our lighting accents. You know, cabin lights auto. Let's go to night mode. Right. You know, this is all your intensity too. Yeah, because sometimes these screens can be bright at nighttime. Correct. Um, let's go to charge profile. There's your tank with your electron percentage of what the total would be at 314. Turn off and on your, your power outlets. Oh yeah, okay. This shows you the amps at which you can also, you can go up when using a shared, I'm, I'm familiar, consider reducing amps with what outages. That's for your just controlling, if, if, you're, if you're at a third party charger and you're afraid that it's not going to operate the way you want it to, you can always adjust the amperage um, and then it'll tell you what the kilowatts are. Wow. This is your charging suggestion. You can program a charging schedule. Cool. These the cameras, front and back. The front one's a little wonky, as you yeah. can see. Here you've Foggy. got your settings. Now, what I like about this one, let's go to vehicle, and let's go to driver plus. You can now turn off or on and customize what you want the vehicle to do yeah. with this 
Oh, blind spot man. warning, proximity yeah, yeah. warning, right. cross All traffic this. warnings. Right. You turn All them the, off. Right. And you can do your warning types. Um, so that's what's interesting about that. That's cool. Yeah, and the Connect, of course, shows you what you've got in terms of Wi-Fi. Yeah. Get your Bluetooth. And so this will lock and unlock your speaker. The speaker's on the dock. So that's basically what you got. I got to fix this once you're... Yeah. How, so when you go to start the vehicle, how are you starting? All, all you do is put your foot in the brake, and it's started. Wow. That's, that's it, why huh? I'm saying, where's, where's your key? Ah, uh, yeah, wants yeah. to start. Okay. So since it's, since it's what's different, of course, with this, which you have to get used to, is when you start it, it makes no sound at all. Yeah. The vehicle just engages. So that's what gets takes to get you. So, again, if you're once you've engaged it, press down once and you're in drive press up once you're in reverse oh, so that's the uh press drive, half right? this is this is your this is your drive stock yeah and park, when you put it in drive, park it automatically neutral. puts the mechanical park into the back brakes oh, okay which locks it electronically and that's your park mode. in other words there's no park pedal gotcha there you have it. very cool man thank no, you for that no problem let me just get this up to 70. <laughs> keep it warm in right here How does this thing open? Oh, there we go. Automatic also. Very cool. That's the tailgate. It's got a tailgate button. Yeah, on the inside too, there's a button where you can open and close the tailgate. That's pretty nice. That's a thing for your tires right here, huh? Shows PSI, air yeah. on the air yeah. later, a couple outlets. Um, full size spare. Full size spare, pumps up right there. You've got an ice chest, there's actually a drain plug in there. There's a drain plug in there for an ice chest too. If you want to take the tire out. Yep. That's Truck pretty cool. <laughs> Truck full of beers. A lot of space in here. Yeah. Watch you see in the back? This thing opens up automatically. It's, cool. it's got built-in Type yeah. C. Yeah. USB. Uh, this one's the power, so electric. But... Also, if you come over here to the side door, there's an emergency flashlight. I don't know how this thing comes on, but oh yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Turn it off. Do it one more time. Boom. Ah, gotcha. So it's at nine and a half. So it goes up to 15. Is that what they do? Yeah. 8.9 yeah. to 4.0. Cute. And for you to be able to fill up the water, so that 3.6 gallons. Hooking it up out of the midsection. Inside the tunnel, um, immediately on the other side, when you open up the gear shuttle, you have access to that bladder. You can look at it through the other side. Different interior here. I like that color. options when I open the door it's in the back thanks a lot man I really yeah. appreciate talking to you yeah it was nice and the mic's up hey I love it
kind of cool.